Hi guys, this is Teacher Jen and welcome to my channel. Ngayon, pag-aralan natin kung paano mag-multiply ng fractions. Sa lahat po ng operations ng fractions, ang multiplying of fractions ang pinakamadali. Bago ako magbigay ng mga halimbawa, I would like to discuss with you the rules on how to multiply fractions. Number one, multiply the numerators or the top numbers. Number two, multiply the denominators or the bottom numbers. Number three, simplify if needed. Okay, let's start with example number one. We have two-thirds times nine. So we have here the fractional part, then we have the whole number. So, anong gagawin natin kapag merong whole number? Madali lang po. We have to convert this 9 into a fraction by writing it as 9 over 1. So, we Incredible. have 2 thirds times 9 over 1. So, 9 over 1 has the same value with 9. So, let's proceed now to the rules of multiplying fractions. So, numerator times numerator, then denominator times denominator. So, we have 2 times 9 is equal to 18. 8 times 1 is equal to 3. Then lastly, simplify if needed. So, 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. So, our answer is a whole Okay, let's proceed with example number two. We have two fifths times two and five six. What will happen if we have a mixed number? So all we have to do is change this mixed number first into improper fraction. So we have to multiply six times two is equal to twelve plus five is equal to seventeen. I repeat, six times two is equal to twelve plus 5 is equal to 17 over 6. So, copy 2 fifths times 17 over 6. Now, apply the rules of multiplying fractions. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, 2 times 17 is equal to 34. 5 times 6 is equal to 30. So, change this fraction into mixed number since it is still in, in improper fraction. So, we'll be using long division, 34 over 30. I mean, 34 divided by 30 is equal to 1. 1 times 30 is equal to 30. Then subtract. 4 minus 0 is equal to 4. So, yung 1 dito is our whole number. Yung 4 is the numerator and copy the denominator. Since the fractional part can still be reduced into lowest term, divide it by 2. So we have 40 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 30 divided by 2 is equal to 15. So this is now our final answer. Okay, we have the last example. We have 1 and 3 fifths times 2 and 1 fifth. Since yung fraction natin is in mixed numbers, we have to change them into improper fractions. So, all we have to do is multiply 5 times 1 is equal to 5. 5 times 1 is equal to 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 over 5 then times 5 times 2 is equal to 10 plus 1 is equal to 11 over 5 and then multiply the numerators 8 times 11 is equal to 88 over 5 times 5 is equal to 25. So we will use long division to change this improper fraction into mixed number. So we have 
88 divided by 25. How many group of 25 in 88? We have 3. 3 times 25, we have 75. We have subtract. 8 minus 5, 3. 8 minus 7 is 1. So our answer here is 3, which is the whole number. Remainder is the numerator. And copy the denominator. So it is already in lowest term. That's how easy it is to multiply fractions. I hope may natunan kayo sa araw na ito. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.